Hi, I'm Sydney. I'm Jake. We are the, the Pizza, Pizza Bats. Bats. Woo! We're back! We're back to the library. <laughs> we love the library! And this is our local branch, the Humble Park branch. So, Sydney, what are you returning today? This book, it's called The New Frugality by Chris Farrell. Yeah, is there anything you want to know about <laughs> In five words or less, okay. summarize this book. Okay. You make money, save more. What is one valuable lesson that you learned from The New Frugality? I learned, uh, I learned more about what I want out of investing. Um, which is to do it at all. You know, getting my knowledge together for when I have money to invest. What kind of investments are you going to be pursuing in the future? Um, definitely like a, a independent retirement fund, like a Roth IRA. Um, I'll be investing and in making a portfolio of investments probably with the National Treasury in stocks and bonds. Um, and probably some like high rate savings accounts. Sweet. Yeah. What books are you returning to the library today? I am returning What I Know For Sure by Oprah Winfrey. Cute. Increasing Reading Speed by W. Royce Adams. And The Self-Made Billionaire Effect, How Extreme Producers Create Massive Value by John Spiokla and Mitch Cohen. Will you share with us a valuable lesson that you learned that will take away, that will affect your life positively? There's lots of valuable lessons. I'll talk about this book. If you feel weird, if you feel like no one cares about your idea, that it's like really far out, um, that you often face rejection or ridicule, with the things that you want to do, then you have the mindset of a billionaire. And if people in your life don't recognize that now, keep doing what you're doing, and they will eventually, and it will pay off in unimaginably great ways. So I think it's probably safe to say you would recommend this book? Unless you're a square. Yeah. <laughs> no fees for life, Dougie. No